Hello and thank you for watching this tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through developing a very simple application using RStudio. Uh, RStudio is an integrated development environment which uses R codes and you can use this R uh, to develop different applications. So let me go ahead and pull up the RStudio. Here is how it looks like. As you can see, you can find a console which you can write your R codes in it. Like, if you are familiar with R, you can see that this is an R code. I just mm, uh, generated a vector from 1 to 4 and spit it out. Alright, uh, in order to uh, develop a simple web application such as this one, which I'm really going to develop this application today. So you can see you can uh, define your distribution type like exponential, the sample size, the R codes behind this uh, interactive HTML view it generates five, five, 5200 sample size and show the histogram something like that. Alright, let's go ahead and start developing that web application. For this purpose, in order to have an HTML view, we need to install uh, the Shiny package onto our RStudio environment. To do that, you should go to Package and click on Install and then just type Shiny here or here. And by install, by clicking on Install, you would uh, install the shiny package. I already have it here. <coughs> you can find it here. This is my. Uh, I have my shiny package already installed on my uh, R Studio. So in order to have that web application, we will need two R scripts. So let me just generate two R scripts. The first one would be. Let me go and write first shiny app the first one would be ui.r <coughs> I should save it as under you under the name of UI where my user interface codes will <coughs> go ahead uh, will be enter it will be written the second would be called server.r where our uh, computation and uh, statistical analysis codes will go. In order to get the uh, user interface I will need to let the program know that these are my UI, my shiny UI codes and here my shiny server codes will be compiled. Okay, this application, this type of application which has a header, a sidebar, and also a main panel is called page with sidebar. And this this is called header, sidebar, and main. All right, let's go and start uh, writing our codes. First, we should let the R Studio that we will have a page with sidebar panel with sidebar and inside this page with sidebar we will have a header panel and we'll write the text which goes into a header panel to my first shiny app in addition to header panel we will have sidebar panel for now just let me write sidebar and also a main panel sorry main panel uh, please just note that this P's in header panel, sidebar panel and main panel should be capital because our studio is uh, kinda sensitive to uh, capital letters okay now let's go ahead and start our uh, uh, go ahead and uh, compile our program. In order to do that, we sh first need to uh, n first need to 
load the shiny package by default the shiny package is not loaded in order to load that you just need to type library shiny you can see that it is now checked and then you need to go ahead and set your working directory let me go to the path that my packages UI and server are Cop copy this package set wd and paste it over here now I have my working directory set to that path and then type run app okay this is the HTML view I have my header panel which is said my first shiny app then this is the sidebar panel and main panel it is kinda close and similar to this page so we'll go ahead and uh, write these uh, generate this uh, select input and uh, sidebar uh, slider input okay so as I said inside sidebar panel we will have a select input those drop boxes are called sele select input in R the name of this select input would be distribution and the text that I want to show to the user is like please I want to ask him to select distribution type okay you can uh, click and en enter and go to the second line whenever and wherever you want uh, on RStudio it is not sensitive to multi it can compile multilinear simultaneously okay and the choices I want my choices be normal and exponential there we are in addition to select them input we will have a slider input the name of that slider would be like sample size the text select let me be please select oops sorry select my not my please select sample size so the mean I want the mean sample size be 100 max be 5000 the value the default value be 1000 and the step be 100 so I want the mean 100 the sample size goes from 100 to 5000 by the steps of 100 okay let's go ahead and let's refresh this page alright now we have this select input with normal and exponential and, uh, and this is the sidebar uh, slider panel the default value is 1000 it goes from 100 to 5000 and it goes by the steps of 100 okay if you go back to the uh, re our ready product you can see normal distribution will have two parameters and exponential has just one parameter so we want the user we want the program mm, to uh, give two options for normal distribution and one option to uh, exponential we can handle it using conditional panels and I'll show you how we can do that okay in the sidebar panel in addition to select input and slider input I will have a conditional panel in the conditional panel I think if you write conditional here the help conditional panel 
you can find out how to write it in conditional panel first condition goes and then the rest of that so my condition wants I want my condition to be input so this is the input if I want the input dot distribution if my input dot distribution is normal I want to have a text input or text box text inputs the name of the text input would be the mean the text please select the mean and the value I want to be its default value or let's say its default value I want to be 10 So this is my first text input. I want another text input for the standard deviation. Okay, let me call it ST. Please select standard deviation. And that's it. This is my conditional panel. And the second conditional panel is for the condition where input input dot distribution is equal to exponential so if this uh, condition is true I want a text input name like let's call it lambda and I want the text box to be please select exponential lambda and the default value I want to be 1 okay let's go and refresh our page now we have our normal distribution uh, but it is not working correctly I found out where the problem is you can see we have a single quotation here but we didn't close it over here I'll close it here and here and go ahead and refresh the page there we are now when the user selects normal we only have mean and standard deviation and when he selects exponential just exponential lambda is selected is shown okay I want this default standard deviation to be 3 okay we have all the elements uh, ready for the sidebar panel it is now time to uh, fix the main panel let me just go ahead and delete the text over here uh, in the main panel we want a plot output and I will call the plot output my plot okay now let's go to the server.r and write the uh, r functions which are going to generate the histogram okay under uh, shiny server server we will have a function with input and output and the session okay and <coughs> inside uh, this function we want our output dollar sign my plot to render a plot and we have some codes to render these plots first uh, let's get our distribution type I would say the distribution type the distribution type is a distribution which uh, was entered from a user interface and it is uh, defined by distribution so input at si dollar sign distribution 
will hand the distribution type to this type. And the size, the sample size, would be input dollar sign sample size. Okay, so we get the distribution type and sample size. So we said if the distribution type, this type, is equal to the text normal. We want the random vector. We initialize the random vector <coughs> and we'll generate random numbers. R norm is the code which is used. If you go to help and type R norm, you'll see that R norm is the code in R that generates uh, random no normals. So, we will have R norm, which generates random number out of normal distribution. N is the sample size, so we have it over here, size. We want size amount of random numbers. The mean is input dollar sign mean. Uh, let me change this M to little m, rather than capital M. <coughs> Okay, the mean is going to be input dollar sign mean, but the mean, the <coughs> select input, just gets the text file. So we need to cast this text into a uh, numerical value. And in the R, as that numeric it takes care of this casting. So the mean is going to be the numerical format of input dollar mean and the standard deviation is going to be I'm just following this rule over here SD is going to be as that numeric of the standard deviation defined and entered by the user I called it as SD okay so if the distribution type is normal the random vector will include the normal values. Else, which is essentially if the distribution type is exponential, our random vector is going to be REXP. REXP generates a random number out of exponential distribution. So N and rate would be the values required for this function. So I want the n to be size and the rate is just 1 over the numerical as that numeric, sorry again, as that numeric. The lambda inputted by the user. <coughs> So, either our distribution type is normal or exponential, we will have the random vector including the random numbers. So, the last step is just the histogram. The hist function in R generates the histogram. histograms. So, I just need to pass the random vector. You can change like the color, I want the color to be blue. Alright, let's go and refresh our... Let's go and just run the app. So it says invalid number of breaks. Oh, sorry. As you can see, we do not have the standard deviation over here. For exponential, it is correct. <coughs> so I got a, I had a problem. Yes, there it is. I want standard deviation to be three, and I needed to put it inside the text input. Okay. Let me go ahead and run the app again. Now we have, we have normal. You can change it to one hundred. And as you can see, the run 
the normal distribution is around 100. You can change the standard deviation to see how it looks like if you increase the sample size and if you change the exponential, the distribution to exponential. So this was our first shiny app and I hope you enjoyed it and 